Do you have your ID? Yeah, I do. Are you taking photos? Uh, yeah. Did you put us on it? I want to be on it. Oh, you do? Yeah. Do you want to say hi? Hi, yes. <laughs> At the Natural East Expo in Baltimore, I'm looking for a vegan zombie and water. Can I have one of these? Yeah, of course, as many as you'd like it. Oh my gosh, thank you. So I got some water, but still no traces of this vegan zombie that I hear about. There he is, I'm gonna sneak up on him. And there is the vegan zombie is. in its natural habitat. What's up, man? How are you, man? I like that shirt you're wearing. Hey. Go vegan. Just add, just add water. Go vegan. Yeah, vegan zombie right there. Beans and rice doesn't get any better than yeah, that. Yeah, and here's the best thing: beans and rice go together like beans and rice. Am I right or am I right? It's yeah, a magical right. fruit, man. Yeah, beans, beans. Everyone knows <laughs> that song. You look a little boomerang in your shirt. Yeah. There. Let, let, me, let me do this. Let me get yeah, rid of like this. this. One, two, three. Perfect. Oh, that's it right there. Uh, so we got the Kathmandu serving up right now. The beauty of it is you can actually pronounce all the words on the back. Rarity in this day and age when you try to look at all the preservatives going around. So here we go. There it is. Kind of yeah, man. That's good stuff. So these are all vegan, plant-based, free of the top eight allergens. These are our cookie dough bites. We have three flavors, enrobed in chocolate. And then we have our cupcakes, and they're cream-filled. So this one's free of the top seven allergens. It does have coconut in it. What'd you think? Really good. Yeah, you like it? Mm-hmm. You guys' burritos are delicious. You no, know, you have to eat some in order to film some. I know. I like that policy. I really like the Mexicali. What, you guys uh, have a podcast or a YouTube channel or something? Uh, I have both, and he's um, the vegan zombie on YouTube. Mmm, this is so good. What are you having there, man? I have the uh, chicken and veggie, vegan, of course. Nice flaky crust from Alpha Foods. And nice really good so yeah if you guys haven't tried alpha foods burritos or Popeyes they're freaking amazing so definitely check them out at you guys local supermarket this dip is nuts have you tried this one these dip is these dips are nuts no I've only had those ones do these ones these one this one's just so won the award like it, for the huh? best in the country could I have one I as well like yes. it's all about that first person perspective <laughs> what's the difference between this dip is nuts and the bitchin sauce. Yeah, so these guys are all organic and all soy free. Uh, our original recipe uses uh, soy liquid Bragg's aminos. Uh, Boom, yep. For these guys, we swap them out for organic coconut aminos. Can you tell me about the story that behind this about how it was like owned as like a dairy farm? Sure, so the company was founded in 1925. We were originally a dairy company. In 2017, we stopped producing dairy products and we switched completely to vegan plant-based products. Um, we pride ourselves on variety and clean label. That's the most like beautiful like story coming from a food company. You guys were the complete opposite, and yeah. now you've embraced the vegan and lifestyle. And that was that was you know that's four generations of dairymen. You know where what, the what company made was the change, rooted. You know? Trends and you know the, becoming more health conscious about. Um, the products that are good for you and that are good for the environment too. Tastes just like chocolate milk I used to have before I was vegan. Can't find too many of them, but Elmhurst got it. Hey guys, everybody needs water when they're at the expo. This isn't any ordinary water. This is Chuck Norris water made on Chuck Norris's ranch. And that water will punch you right in the face. Bam! Tell us a little bit about the water. Yeah, it's called Sea Force Water, as you can see back there. It's an artesian water. It comes uh, from an aquifer deep underneath Chuck Norris's ranch, just north of Houston in Texas. It comes out of the ground with a naturally high pH. A lot of the uh, high uh, alkaline waters are made that way artificially. Ours comes out of the aquifer just naturally like that. And so it's really cool. 
at the time of bottling, it's like a 7.8 to an 8.3 on the pH scale. So it's a very smooth artesian water. Chuck and his wife own 100% of the company, so it's not an endorsement or anything like that. We bottle it right there at his ranch. About 2,500 locations right now in about 13 states. But if you check out Seacourse Water on Amazon, you can get it anywhere else. You can get it via Prime too, so that's always nice for shipping. And you're Chuck Norris's nephew? Yeah, I'm his nephew. What? This guy's his nephew. <laughs> So do you guys really supply the Chipotle sofritas? Yeah, so we supply all the, the sofritas uh, the tofu for the, to make the sofritas. Oh, that's awesome. And then we are now in all Whole Foods nationwide. So you should be able to find us over your mom's here. We potentially will be in Target as well. Well, yeah, if it's made out of oats, there's going to be like a lower fat yeah, content it's milk. Really, it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot better than everything else. Yeah, there's one gram of fat in an eight ounce serving, basically yeah. one cup, one gram. Oh, there is a little, there's a little bit of sugar, but this is the best one I found. And it nice. tastes super good. This is like our chocolate, but it's, it's a kind of a sale sample for the show. White it's label. Our, yeah, <laughs> mocha barista. Oh, mocha. So it's like for, there's no coffee in it, but it's just like super chocolate milk. Oh, so it's just chocolate? Yeah. Oh, we'll try this. It's another chocolate milk by uh, Oatly. It's uh, technically called mocha, but it's supposed to be like chocolate. Super chocolate. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> you can see there's nothing label. bad in it. <laughs> It'll look like this. There you go. It'll look like this. Nice. Okay, so that's for the, the Yeah, the we're launching this spring, yeah. For the okay, lattes. cool. Epic. Yeah. So let's see. Try it out. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, it's really good. It's our low fat. Oh, okay, low your fat. low fat one. Try one that. Yeah, I'm really interested it's in that. It's the simplest product so, we have. I put that in my smoothies, on my cereal. We're just drinking like that. Yeah, so as a consumer, personally, I would go for this just because so, I'm a big component favorite. of the low fat. So keep me company. Swear they holding on my feet, but they not under me. The fumes on your sweater smell is so lovely. Hey, Chris, what you doing? Oh, you know, doing my thing. Yeah, how's your movie coming along? Can't wait. We're actually in distribution now with these items that we, you know, introduced last year. I thought you are in Trader Joe's time. now. Trader Joe's with uh, plants. We no longer use the word dairy-free or dairy alternative. We say our products are plant dairy. So there's two kinds of dairy. There's animal dairy and there's plant dairy. And we're, Good. we're plant dairy. Yeah. And, you know, we just, we don't say we are making non-dairy products anymore. That's just it. Like that is out of our vocabulary. Want everybody to buy it. That's right. We want everybody to buy it. We're right. making dairy products from plants. And I think that the people are totally done right. with doing it. They it's are. the companies that are against it. Companies that are against it. I think they're too worried about the past and we can't. We have, you know, blast the new trail for the future. That's well, what we got to do. I just read like a few days ago that they passed the bill in the UK that you have you can't use you can't use the word dairy or milk. They did that in, in uh, France, I believe, too, or in Europe. And yeah. maybe it was Germany. It's like yeah. you cannot use the word milk on well, plant-based milks. It's too bad. But you know what? Yeah. At the same time, it's kind of good because you know you're making a dent in that industry. Well, that's exactly right. I mean, they wouldn't. This wouldn't even have been a topic if we weren't making that dent. Right. If we weren't the fastest growing. They never said anything for the last industry. 25, 30 of years. Not. What about milk and magnesia? What right. about coconut milk? Coconut milk? I mean, coconut meat? Oh, it, coconut it, it, meat? You're onto something. We, well, you know, we have to we have to really create a new vocabulary, I think, to talk about yeah. our products. And it's not reinventing words. It's just recreating how we use words that already exist. Well, that's you what kind we of did that do. when you first started by using like smoked farmhouse or that's what, aged. Yeah. Whatever. Trying to evoke the mood of yeah. the traditional products, yeah. And it work. People still want dairy, but they just want a better product, and they you're do. offering that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is better. This is the future. Right. The other, unfortunately, you know, we have to help those that are involved in the other industries find a new livelihood. That's right. really the bottom line, you know? But it's like when the automobile took over the horse and buggy, or you know, the airplane came along. I mean, if you guys haven't checked change. out Meal with Products, she's got like the best of the best. So we're good. gonna have a little advertisement of some guy on a motorcycle outside of this, you know, country pub and whipping out his beer and pretzel with a roadhouse cheese. Ah, uh, so no way. It's kind of yeah. Nice. That's the image we're going for. It's for the beer drinker as opposed to the wine drinker. Can I have like the whole fridge? Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, whatever you guys want. You want to call it? Yeah. Yeah. Grab it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, hot dogs are great. All right, this is just day two of everything we picked up. We have boxes of field roast. We have a whole case of corn dogs and field Seriously. roast sausages and stuff. So people need to come over to my house and eat my food it's because like hippies for hippies. days. 20 minutes later. All right, we are about to go live. All right guys, so I'm back from the expo and I can say that it was an awesome time being there. Now you guys know me, I'm all about a whole food plant-based diet, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited about what's happening in the vegan food industry. I'm so excited about all the vegan products that are out right now and that will be coming out in the near future. I think it's so important to have better, more ethical, healthier options out there competing against animal products, which absolutely do no good for anybody. Towards the end of the expo, Chris and I, we went around to pretty much all the vegan vendors and asked them if they were giving out any foods. You guys probably saw only a fraction. Anyway, head on over to the Vegan Zombies channel to check out his vlog as well as the live videos we did. I'll link that down below as well. If you guys want this awesome Go Vegan t-shirt, head on over to the Vegan Zombies website as well. And if you want this awesome hat, you can go to Bananiac.com. Definitely subscribe to the Vegan Zombie and thank you guys for watching. Post down below, let me know what you are excited about from this video. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And how you make me smile, and how you make me smile, oh yeah. And how you make me smile, oh baby, how you make me smile. Smile more when I see you, smile less when I miss you. No, I don't wanna be left alone.